Happy New Year, everybody. We are back with Chris Woolsey from Crackle, and we've got a lot to discuss for January. Yes, we do. Oh, my goodness. We <laughs> are kicking things off. We're going to start 2023 with a bang, and uh, and we're going to bring a little extra chill to your winter season. Uh, we've got tons of great stuff, as we always do, but... Uh, one of the ones that I'm most excited about right now on Crackle uh, is Ghost Wars. I don't know if you saw this. It was a sci-fi original series, and it's from the producers of Fargo and Hell on Wheels. And it is probably the most terrifying television since American Horror Story and Supernatural. It is so good. I cannot begin to tell you. I, I know that you are a fan of the genre. Yep. For sure. For, For sure. sure. Well, you're going to love this one. It's uh, starring Vincent D'Onofrio, uh, who plays. So uh, you me have me there. If right. I know. All I had to say was Vincent is... Vincent <laughs> he's amazing. And he is so good in this series. I can't even tell you. So it's about this little tiny town in Alaska in the middle of nowhere that all of a sudden gets besieged with all of these supernatural events. So there's all these crazy things going on in the town and the townspeople have no idea why. Vincent D'Onofrio plays this crazy unhinged um, pastor out in the middle of you know nowhere, Alaska. And all of a sudden this town is you know filled with these supernatural events. Well, it ends up that there's a, a guy in town, this young kid who, his dad is this famous psychic and somehow he's inherited some of his dad's abilities. Mm. And so he's the, actually the only person in town who can see the ghosts. Everybody else is just getting haunted by them, but he actually sees who they are. And um, so he's got to pair up with, there's, uh, I don't know if you know who Kim Coates is. He was one of the leads in Sons of Anarchy. Oh um, yeah. 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 So they all they kind of uh kind of oh and uh Meatloaf. This was actually Meatloaf's final television series. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, I know which one this is. Okay, so I actually did a round table interview with Vincent D'Onofrio and Meatloaf. Oh my gosh, That's are you it. kidding me? No, 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 I'm not. I seriously, and they were drawing the whole time. Like I actually have pictures of the drawings that they were doing while they because Vincent doesn't like he doesn't like to just sit uh -huh. and talk. So he had he like the man's brain. Like I don't know yeah. how he he just stays, he's just he's brilliant. Sure. And so the two of them together, they were sitting, they were so amazing. I and they left imagine. the drawing there. I'll I will, I don't even know if I have it up on my site. Okay. But because I, you know, I work for other outlets as well. Sure. So I just basically send my stuff over and say, here, yep. enjoy this wonderful masterpiece of I did not do anything. You can just, you know, look yeah. at it. Um, I will, I will find it and I will send it to you. It was, it was just brilliant. It was That's just incredible fun to talk to them and laugh. Like it was, it was just great. So yeah. now I know which one you're talking about and I totally forgot about it. Yeah. And that's list to watch. I'm so glad you guys got it. Sorry. You've got to check it out. It is spectacular. We have um, the entire season and um, really, really good stuff. It's cool. I'm glad you know uh, know all about it. So I want to I want a full review next time we talk. A hundred percent. I'm okay. I'm really that's I'm not even playing video games when we when we just <laughs> that's what I'm watching. Oh my awesome. god, I'm so excited. Okay, awesome. Right. And then on top of that, so you know, I told you we're bringing the action in January. Um, we've got a bunch of really good so what i always brag about our programming team at crackle but they really are amazing and they like scour the entertainment world and they find these gems that somehow have slipped through the cracks and one of them is uh we've got this month called naked singularity and this was produced by this this little known producer named ridley scott i don't know if you've heard of him but uh yeah i mean obviously the martian blade runner Gladiator, uh, half the movies that are worth watching the last 35 years. Um, and it stars John Boyega, who I'm sure you know is the the reformed uh, stormtrooper from uh, the Star Wars, recent Star Wars films. He's so ingrained in my head as that character that I 
I often forget that he's in other movies. And when I see him, I'm like, why does this guy look so familiar? Do you have that experience? Oh, you're muted. Did you hit mute? I was coughing, so I didn't want to. No worries. No, you're absolutely right. I actually used to do that um, with Chadwick Boseman. Uh-huh. Because you just, you know that he's in Black Panther, but then he was in all of these like little TV shows where he would play like, yep. he was in a jazz band and he murdered his father yeah. or something like that. And you're just like, oh my God. And it took me a second. I was like, oh my God, that's Chadwick. And you're like, I didn't realize he did that much stuff. And it's the same thing with John because you don't realize. He's so he's good. Been around for so long. And his, yep. you're right. He's very um, well-versed and he's diverse yep. in, in a lot of the roles that he plays. Yep. And I remember the first time I saw him. Did you ever see Attack the Block? No. Oh, you got to see that. It's great. We've had that on Crackle several times. Um, it's a sci-fi film about an alien invasion that takes place in a low-income neighborhood of London. <laughs> and all the like street punks have to come together to protect the block. It's really fun. And John Boyega, that was, I think that was kind of his breakout role. Yeah. Um, he's spectacular in it. And uh, Naked Singularity is is just, it's an outstanding film. So he plays this beleaguered public defender who really wants to help people, really wants to make a difference. And the system is literally just grinding him into powder. And he discovers um, through one of his clients that there is an opportunity that he uh, has been presented with where he could financially help a ton of people, but in order to do it, he's got to go to the other side of the legal system Ooh. and he's got to break bad in order for this uh, to take place and turns into, it, it goes, it goes, it takes a hard left quickly and um I'm not going to spoil it because I'm not that guy, but it's uh, it's got Olivia Cook from House of the Dragon and uh-huh. Ready Player One. It's got Bill Skarsgård who uh, played Pennywise in it. Oh, I love Bill Skarsgård. He's he's amazing, isn't he? Yeah, man, this I think is it's a great cast. Yeah, it is, and I don't know. It's such a good movie. I I'm not entirely sure how this one flew under the radar because uh, it's spectacular. Uh, one of the other creators was Dick Wolf, who uh, created Law and Order. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, it's like. It's a ridiculous uh, group of geniuses behind this one. So yeah, check it out. How has that not, I I don't think I've ever heard of it. I know, I hadn't Maybe either. I was like, what a weird it, name for yeah. a movie. And then uh, when I actually dug into it and started checking it out, I was like, how did this slip by? So wow. all right, well, that, I wrote it down. It's on the list. I mean, not like I can't figure out what I need to go back and watch by right. rewatching this. No, I, if I don't write things down, they don't get done. So yeah, right. <laughs> and with uh, award season coming around the corner, uh, Brendan Fraser is obviously the the darling right now with the whale. I have not seen it yet, but I've heard nothing but um, amazing things. Have you seen it yet? No, it's that. Okay another thing to watch but the pieces that I have seen I saw a clip and again have not seen the movie I've just seen a clip and I was bawling I was like me too yeah I was ugly crying I'm like I need I need a specific time to watch this so I have to prepare myself (laughs) seriously yeah emotionally no kidding yep but well we've got a uh an awesome uh Brendan Fraser throwback and this was another one I did. I don't remember this being uh, in the theaters, so I don't know how I missed it. But this is called Breakout. Uh, Brendan Fraser plays uh, a, a convict who's serving time in prison. Unbeknownst to him, while he's in prison, his children witness a murder in the woods, and the killer, who's played by Dominic Purcell, who was the lead in Prison Break, oddly enough uh chases the kids down and they take off into the woods and he goes off after them because they're a witness well brendan fraser finds out that his kids are gone and that something nefarious has happened in their neighborhood um and so he has to break out of prison and go into the woods to try to save his kids before dominic purcell can find them um so it is a it's a it's a, a slow boil thriller. It's really good. And I thought I saw all of his movies, like because I look, I I grew up with him, you know. Oh, come on. And, and 
Encino Man. Encino Man? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. There's so many other movies that he's been in. I mean, obviously all the mummy movies, but it's sure. like yeah, George of the Jungle. Yeah. And what was he the did other all those movie cartoon movies? He was in the band. He was in the, the oh, metal yeah. band. That's that. yep. <laughs> so, great. I love I thought, I'm a I'm a big fan. Yeah, I thought I saw them all. So apparently not. So we're gonna have to write that one down too. Yep. Breakout also has uh, Ethan Suplee from uh, the Butterfly Effect plays one of the other bad guys. Um, yeah, it's awesome. You're gonna you're gonna dig. It. It's just a great popcorn. You know, just curl up on the couch with a blanket and a uh, bucket of popcorn and and watch this one. But I di- so I did refer to uh, Break Breaking Bad with uh, Naked Singularity and uh, just to bring it all home. We've got a Brian Cranston uh, thriller this month as well called Cold Comes the Night. Ooh. And uh, like Mr. Cranston is so good at doing, he is a chilling villain in this one as well. So um, Alice Eve, who uh, is from the uh, Star Trek uh, franchise, um, she plays this struggling motel owner. Uh, she's a single mom trying to take care of her daughter and run this uh, kind of dead end motel <clears throat> at the same time. And she's struggling to keep custody of her daughter because of the situation that she's in. And in order to make ends meet, she's kind of turned a blind eye to a couple shady characters in the in the area who are using the motel for sort of these uh, illegal purposes. And they end up jacking Brian Cranston's car which uh, who's staying at the hotel ends up two problems with that. One is the trunk is filled with money. And the other is Brian Cranston is a trained killer. So it's sort of like taken with, with criminals. Uh, And so. It's taken, but you took his money and not his. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) And he's the bad guy. So um, yeah, there's no Liam Neeson's coming in to save the day on this one. So um Alice Eve has got to take things into her own into her own hands in order to save her daughter and save the day. It is really great. Another just fun nail biter. Uh, lots of fun stuff. That sounds like so much fun. I just love that you've got a lot of edge of your seat and also like spooky stuff. Because yes, I'm mm-hmm. I'm a spooky girl. I love these things. And so anything that just kind of br- you've brought it all full circle. Every time, every time there's always something like even look Christmas, we had the nice heartwarming things and I'm telling you, they were good. I mean, I watch too much TV now is what I'm telling myself, which I don't think I do, but I just need to get up off the couch a few more minutes a day. But I hear you. I hear you. But the best part is it's all free. Yes. A hundred percent free. You have to watch this itty bitty commercial. And I tell everybody, I'm like, if you do not have crackle, you you're on crack. It's You're just, missing. it just, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to put that on the website now. That's amazing. <laughs> You're not watching crackle. You're on crack. It just doesn't make sense, you know, because yeah. you guys have so many great things. You have so many different channels, we'll call it, but or even categories, whatever you want to call them, they have, you have everything under every, every genre and it's good. It's quality. It is entertaining. I have not been disappointed yet with anything that you have recommended so everybody watching you better finally you know get crackle if you don't have it that's right go to any of the app stores you can download it for your connected tv your tablet your phone uh you can go to crackle.com on your laptop we are wherever you are watching movies walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes watch an episode of something it's seriously you can it's you may even go over the 30 minutes if you're watching a movie because it's just right. that good that good. we are making people healthier yes. that's what we're doing make people healthy that's you know what that's what your slogan needs to be about it needs to be get healthy watch crackle that's right and then just have someone on a treadmill with a big smile <laughs> on i mean look you can't you can't beat that that's nope. that's <laughs> I'm just going to come up with all these random slogans for you guys. Totally. (laughs) Well, I do want to thank you so much for all of the information on Crackle. And we will be talking to you soon about some other things with Redbox and also Chicken Soup for the Soul. So I'm really looking forward to that. You and me both. I can't wait, Raven. Thanks so much. Well, it was great talking to you. Always great to see you. (laughs) Bye-bye.